Hello students, in this video um, we're going to consider um, a partial differential equation with some boundary conditions and an initial condition and such a problem is called an initial boundary value problem or um, IBVP. Now in this video um, I'm not going to introduce a lot of mathematical rigor. Um, I'm just going to try to um, help you develop some kind of intuitive sense of what the solution or the behavior of the solution of this IBVP um, would be, um, what we'd expect it to be. So uh, once again, um, we're not going to do um, uh, implement any techniques. Um, we're just going to try to develop a, an intuitive sense of what this equation is telling us. Um, I'll develop a more rigor um, in future videos or uh, subsequent videos. All right, so um, first thing, let's assume that um, the length here of um, our uh, domain is uh, positive, uh, so we're going from 0 to L. So what you see here, um, I'm going to assume that U is uh, perhaps a temperature profile. Okay, so it might be the temperature or something. And um, Imagine you have a rod here and it has positive length. So we're going from 0 to L and L is greater than 0. Now what um, these conditions uh, here are telling us are that um, the temperature at the boundaries um, at 0 and at L is uh, 0 or maybe it's been normalized um, to some constant number and then we just um, subtract it off and we say it's zero okay um, and initially you might have some temperature profile so maybe in this case uh, um, the temperature is hotter in the center and then it's zero at the boundaries and that that's saying that f of x has this shape and that's what this condition is telling us. It's saying that ux at t equals 0 is some initial temperature. And at the boundaries, when x is 0 or x is L, the temperature is 0. On the other hand, um, it could be the case that f of x has um, this profile, and maybe it's warmer at the boundaries and cooler in the center. Okay, So you could have a, a hot drink, um, like a hot cup of coffee, um, and um, and here are the boundaries of the cup, and um, you're, hopefully your cup is a good insulator, and um, it's uh, trying to keep um, the uh, temperature from escaping or um, trying to keep the cool air from coming in. Uh, on the other hand, you might have a cool drink in the cup, and um, you have uh, an insulator on the edges, and you're trying to keep the drink cool in the center, and um, you're trying to keep the warm air from coming in or the cool air from escaping. Um, all right, and uh, we know um, from thermodynamics um, that um, hot air um, wants to flow um, out to where it's uh, cooler, so temperatures uh, want to go in that direction. Okay, but um, I'm not going to get too much into that right now. Um, okay, so um, now that uh, we're thinking about this in terms of a temperature, let's um, see what the PDE is telling us now. That's the partial differential equation up here. Um, so we have a change in time is um, being balanced by this um, second derivative, which gives us a um, change in the uh, spatial coordinates. So um, in this case, where um, our initial profile is concave down, so that means the temperature um, will be concave down, and the um, temperature profile is concave down so that means that the second derivative is less than zero if it's concave down now if the second derivative is less than zero that means that you the derivative of u with respect to t so that means the change in temperature with respect to time must also be less than zero and that is telling us that u is decreasing in time and so the temperature is decreasing and um, you're going to eventually cool down so that hot drink will eventually cool off um, even if you have it uh, well, uh, even if you have it insulated, um, it's going to want to reach the uh, temperature of the um, of the edges of the cup eventually. So, in other words, you have a hot drink; it's going to get down to cool. It's going to get down to room temperature. On the other hand, and for similar reasons, if uh, 
the second derivative is greater than zero, so here you are concave up, that means that um, you're being balanced by the derivative of u with respect to time, so the change in temperature with respect to time is being balanced by the uh, concavity here. And uh, since that's positive, u must be increasing in time, and so that means the drink is going to warm up, or the temperature is going to warm up and reach this steady state. So that cool drink will also reach um, room temperature. Now you could um, think of this in two spatial dimensions, and you would have the Laplacian in that case. And uh, you could think of um, you have a slice in the x direction, a slice in the y direction, and uh, it's telling you the same information. Um, the Laplacian in this case, uh, with my crew drawing here, um, you have this bell shape, um, in the initial temperature profile, and uh, it's greater than zero, so it's concave down, so the Laplacian is less than zero, it's insulated on the boundaries, and that means that u, uh, t, the derivative of u with respect to t is less than zero, so u is decreasing in time. So it works, it works in, in two dimensions as well. So there are some uh, questions we're going to eventually want to ask ourselves mathematically, and that is under what conditions, under what boundary conditions and initial conditions, will a unique solution exist for this partial differential equation? Uh, that's going to become very important. And the other thing we're going to want to ask ourselves is, is there a technique for solving this uh, initial boundary value problem? And uh, if there is a technique, when is the technique valid? because of course we want to have solutions and we want those solutions um, uh, to exist of course but we want them to be unique because we don't want to have multiple uh, temperature profiles um, um, we don't want multiple ways in which this temperature profile can evolve as you can imagine um, alright so that's a brief introduction hopefully um, you've gotten some intuition of what this uh, equation is